You know, so one thing that I did with my students recently is I wanted to find patterns and structures in beer. So San Diego, where I'm at, I'm at the University of San Diego, um, is really known for their, um, for their beer. It's one of the number one craft brewery markets in the world. I think there are about 160 different brewers here. And um, so we went to one of the oldest brewers here, it's, uh, the San Diego Brewing Company, and we talked to the brewmaster. And we said, can you tell us what makes a beer a beer? Instead of the labels of Pilsner or IPA or, um, um, or ales, what is it that makes uh, a beer special? And the brewmaster said, actually, you know, if you take any beer in the world, if you rip the label off, you basically have about 15 to 25 characteristics of what makes a beer a beer, including things like... Um, Things like original gravity, final gravity, pounds of hops, temperature that goes in, temperature coming out. And, um, and he gave me a list of about 20. And he said, any beer in the world can be broken up into these 20 pieces. And they have different weights. You know, sometimes the alcohol content actually matters a lot, sometimes it doesn't. And so what we did was we took the data of 21 different beers that they had. They gave me the data for each of their pieces. These, this is called basically the beer genetics of what a beer is. And we put it in, in some sense, to like a gene sequencing machine. And it spit out a family tree of how these 21 beers are related to one another. And so to me, that's how I think of applying mathematics. You take real world problems, uh, real world interesting questions that are out there and how things can be related to one another, maybe through the lens of biology and genetics. And then you use the mathematical tools to extract that and say, here's something else you can do with it. Now, a word of warning for me is that this genetic tree of how the beers are related to one another, it is not more powerful or more amazing than anything the brewmaster already knows. So I want to be really clear that math is not here to trump what reality is about. It's just here to partner with the world to talk with them about it. It might be a different way of framing something that people haven't seen before. But to say that somehow math now with this beer genetic tree is the ultimate truth with a capital T is something that's very worrisome and you have to be careful. I think if you think about almost any other discipline, they struggle with their own notions of truth and notions of what it means to be right. And math just comes along and shares its perspective.